Now that the shelling stopped for the moment, does that mean it's time to start circling back to the kind of high-flying growth stocks that were leading the market before the coronavirus hit? Think about Pegasystems. That's a software company that develops custom applications for other businesses, especially tools that help clients with digital transformations like business process optimization, customer relations management. As Pegasystems has shifted to a recurring revenue-based subscription model, the stock's exploded higher from under 50 at the end of 2018 to above 100 at its peak just a couple weeks ago. When the company reported a strong quarter last month, the stock exploded higher. But thanks to this recent sell-off, it's now giving back all those gains. And it wasn't even able to rally today. I mean, you got to ask yourself, is this ready to bounce? Let's take a closer look with Alan Treffler. He's the founder, chairman, and CEO of Pegasystems. He had a better sense of where his company said it. Mr. Treffler, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, thank you, Jim. I think it's important to point out that most of the people we have on, hey, they're managers. They have a small position in their company. You have a huge position in your company. So you're speaking with your money huh. and your mouth. Well, I think it's a good investment. Right. And I'm trying to prove that. Okay, so a lot of people are looking for uh, stocks that if the economy slows down, they might be good. Others are looking for if the economy can get back, they might be good. I'm looking at Pegasus and thinking that you're maybe both. Well, you know, having been in business now for 35 years, we've weathered many a uh, good time and a bad time. Right. And it, the priorities of the customers change. But we're terrific at saving the organizations that use us money, making their processes more efficient, keeping them close to their customers, but letting them take out lots of wasteful work. Now, it's interesting that a lot of people would say, what do you guys do? There is a fantastic video about Commonwealth Bank, which is a very large bank, talking about how to stay in touch in, a, in an era when you have billions of bits of data, and that's they're using Pegasystems. Yeah, ComBank of Australia, which is the leading bank in Australia, um, is a brilliant user of what we do, both to connect the multiple channels together, to put a brain in the middle of their business, and then not only to make what they call the customer engagement engine, make all the right sort of decisions with them, but then to help execute work as well. Now, uh, I think if people don't want, don't know Commonwealth, but they, I just mentioned that because the video is so good. What you've done with customer satisfaction and attrition at American Express is rather extraordinary. Well, we're happy that we've got uh, a lot of customers, frankly, not just now in the financial services vertical. That is where we started out. Right. But today, we're in a whole variety. Some of the world's largest telcos use us. And, you know, frankly, when an industry is in upheaval, that's when they need us most. Right. Now, you're switching to the cloud, so people on the court are always trying to evaluate how far along you are. We've seen this with Adobe. There came a tipping point. I think you've already reached the tipping point, but mm -hmm. maybe you can explain how we should be monitoring perhaps by using the uh, contract value, annual contract value as the, as the metric? Yeah, so annual contract value is the best indicator of how we're doing, with the second one being the amount of backlog we build up. Okay. That's, that's stuff in the bank, as it were, that hasn't yet hit the revenue line. Now, when I look at the customer list, I see things, I wonder, like, how can you have Unilever and Procter? They're enemies of each other. But you have a lot of different verticals. No one seems to mind that you're working on both sides. Well, we help organizations cap capture their unique organizational intent okay. as, as a basically a better way to combat their rivals. And we find routinely we're selling to competitors. And we really try to respect that when we work with them. So um, when we watch these switches, we know that there are bumps along the road. Uh, but we also know that the companies that really get there are well-funded. You seem to have just raised a huge amount of money to be able to grow to the next level. Well, we uh, had the opportunity to put out a convertible that was, frankly, massively oversubscribed. Right. We thought that with um, the money being, frankly, so inexpensive these days, raising $450 million would make sense. We couldn't uh, succeed raising less than 600. Oh, that's fabulous. Given the level of interest that there was. And then, the, you know, we've got to talk about coronavirus. I mean, you've got a, um, a huge number of big speakers coming to your, your, Pegas, your Pega world. Uh, and all of them I want to hear. But will they have to speak to an empty audience? <laughs> well, look, there is always the opportunity to do things virtually. But yes. I'm still encouraged that given that uh, Pega world is early June, that if, like other right. influenzas, sometimes they abate right. in the warmer months, we, we may find a reprieve. But we're staying agile and going to handle whatever comes. If I came 
to Peg and I said, look, look, we have to be able to make it so our people can work at home because we don't know when this is going to end. Can Peg help me? Yeah, that's perfect for what we do. We are terrific at the management, the distribution, and the automation of work. So helping distributed workforces operate as if they were unified is exactly what we've been doing for the last I mean, decade. I have to believe the customer service can be distributed like that. Oh, absolutely. We have many of our customers that have work from home programs that plug seamlessly into the service that they do. Now, uh, is your plan to take all that convert money and become bigger all, along all these different verticals? What's, you know, you have 600 million. What are you going to do with it? Well, we also are hoping that uh, we're going to be generating cash as we go forward right, in the future, right. like, like quality businesses do. Uh, we're going to look for opportunistic acquisitions. We're going to use it for general are. corporate purposes. Historically, we've done some buying back when we think the stock is at a, at a good price point, and we are optimistic about the future. You know, when we did the convert, we actually did a capped call to raise the premium to 100% because the 37% that came with the convert just seemed too low. Well, I, I know for retail investors, for a mom, for people that invest at home, that the convert actually is no, not that meaningful other than the fact that it's going to spur a lot of growth, which is what you should care about. Nice move since we've seen you last, Alan Treffler, founder, chairman, CEO of Pega Systems. Watch that Commonwealth video. It's three minutes and 30 seconds, but it will tell you how good they are. Man, money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.